advice um, from any of you really about how to sort of receive your children at the end of the school day, whether the end of the day means coming home from the school building where they've sat in the same space all day long, or whether it means shutting down their Chromebook um, from their living room or your dining room where they've been sitting, any routines that might be helpful, um, but also just how to help manage the emotionality that they may be experiencing after such a long, exhausting day. Yeah, two big things that come to my mind is one, like rhythm or routine, um, and then two, the fact that parents often get the, you know, hardest, biggest emotional responses from their kids than anybody else. So, you know, I think that kids thrive with structure and they thrive with routine, and that has changed vastly for most children over the past six months. So having some, it doesn't have to be something that is incredibly structured or detailed, and it can be flexible, but I think kids knowing what to expect around the same times every day can provide a sense of security for them and for you as a parent, right? Like, this is when we have screen time, or this is when we eat dinner as a family. Just giving that rhythm to the day can provide some structure and some sense of security and safety during a time when we don't have that as much inherently. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think also knowing too that your kids are going to emote and they're going to have big feelings and it's, you're going to see it in a way that maybe their teachers didn't see all day, right? Because they're safe with you and that's so normal. And I think that's something that being able to you know, help them to be able to calm their bodies if they're really upset or, you know, being able to give them some cool down time, you know, figuring out what your kid needs is really important, but we just want to reduce points of conflict, right? So I think that's an important thing too. Great. Thank you.